So I did the craziest thing. I traveled all the way to England just to attend the National Shire Horse Show. It was incredible. This is the second video episode. I'm going to be posting each class from the show as well as a compilation of my favorite parts of the entire show in one longer video. My goal is to capture how it felt to be there and what it's like to attend the National Shire Horse Show. Let's jump right in. 10 a.m. was the novice ridden class, and this was the warm-up ring before they enter the arena. It was really great to watch the riders prep as more and more shires rolled in. I love anything to do with shire horses, but if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I do dressage with my shire horse, Apollo, so all the ridden classes were extra exciting for me to watch and admire. This horse was one of the standouts of the show for me. His markings were so unique. It was stunning. I just loved the way his feather, the white on his feather, just kind of tapered off into the black coat. It was so interesting, beautiful horse. The format for this class was for horse and rider to enter the ring at the walk, after which a ring director would call instructions. Walk, trot, canter, change directions, halt, back up, etc. Then they would line up, untack, they'd remove the saddle, bridle, everything, and tack up with the judges watching to see how the horse and rider interact. As part of that inspection, the they made sure the saddle fit properly and everything was kosher. They also did something I wasn't familiar with here in the States, which was to have a pro rider take the horse's first spin as part of the judging process. That part was actually quite comical, as these Shire horses gave that guy a run for his money as he battled to get them to cooperate. I felt most of the individual novice riders handled their horses much better than the pro guy. It was entertaining to watch him as he struggled. <laughs> There's that horse again. He was so gorgeous. Those markings are incredibly unique. I love them. After the pro rider was done doing whatever it was he was doing, they all lined up again and the awards were given. During the cantering segment, I did a lot of slow motion capture, which turned out awesome. Muscles rippling, hair flying in the wind. It was really fun to watch. I also caught on camera when, during the canter, one of the riders came off, uh, which is a long way down from the back of a shire. She was okay. I spoke with her and her husband afterwards, and we had a good laugh. They were really uh, good people and fun. Thankfully, English soil is nice and soft. It was really windy, so for the most part, I'll have music playing as you watch but I'll add sounds where possible. I'd much prefer to just have the sound of the horses and the ring director and the hooves hitting the ground. It's an incredible part of the experience, but it was just too windy. I hope you enjoy watching this video. There's many more National Shire Horse video episodes to come. Uh, enjoy. This horse was another of my favorites. He was massive, 19'2", I think she said, maybe five years old. He was 
incredible. Just a beast of a horse and so athletic. You'll see when he's cantering, just really picks up his feet and moves. He was so awesome.
sunrise is just for you So come along and take my hand